Yeah, what's up? This is Boxing Combo, and uh, I just got, I just got home. You know, the Vassal Vades are coming up late. I just got home from watching two fights that did not go the way I thought they would go. I'm, I'm still thinking, like, what the fuck? What, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know. This month has been crazy. It's just, it's, it's been crazy. Things you don't imagine, upsets, everything is just wild. Look, um, starting off, Victor Ortiz, Andre Berto. I thought Andre Berto would win a decision win over Victor Ortiz, even though I'm more of a fan of Victor Ortiz. Uh, Victor Ortiz took down uh, Andre Berto twice. Andre Berto took down Victor Ortiz twice. But the thing was, throughout the fight, the aggressor was Victor Ortiz. Uh, Andre Berto did a lot of running and grabbing, and that's what cost him the fight. And Victor Ortiz was just superior. It was just, uh, it was a good fight. It was, uh, you know, it was probably closer than they gave it, I think, to a certain point. But Victor Ortiz was the aggressor and much props. And I'm a big fan of Victor Ortiz anyway. And he won. He just gave Andre Berto his first professional loss. Then moving on to Bayamon, Puerto Rico. I almost went to the fight live. You know, I'm glad I did it. And anyway, Juan Manuel Lopez versus. What's his name? I wrote it down here. Orlando Salado from Mexico. I'm thinking Juan Manuel Lopez is going to knock this guy out in the seventh or eighth round. The guy, he is an uncomfortable fighter. You know, he tucks in his chin. He guards himself. Uh, he has great defense. He has good stamina. He fought with, uh, he fought with uh, Yorikis Camboa. And it was a 12-round fight where he took down Yorikis Camboa. Yorikis Camboa took him down. Um... What I heard from that fight is that they, uh, Salado wasn't well trained for that fight. He didn't come in his best uh, because I don't know if he, he got word to fight for that, for that Cambodia fight. He didn't have enough time to train. I don't know. I just heard he wasn't, as, he wasn't trained enough. He didn't feel good. But he, obviously when you're in that position, you take any fight that comes your way because it means money and you're in to win it anyway. So for this fight, supposedly he had a lot of time to train, he had a lot of time to prepare, and he came in at his best. And from what I saw tonight, I think if he went to a rematch with Camboa, I think he would defeat Camboa also. So Salado so must much props. You know, um, I was thinking that Juan Ma was gonna knock him out in the seventh, eighth round, and it was the, <laughs> it went the other way around, man. Salado so knocked Juan Ma out in the ninth round by stoppage. Uh, Juan Man complained. He said they stopped it incorrectly. Uh, you know, he was getting punched and he was throwing. So technically, you're not supposed to stop a fight if the guy is throwing punches back at you. But I think the referee did a good job. You know, Juan Man Lopez was out out of it. You know, he's tired. He was he was dazed. I think he wasn't his stamina wasn't as good as it, as it was supposed to. He, he, if he would have had better stamina, I think stamina, I think he would have recovered faster. But I don't think stamina was that good, you know. So if he underestimated Salido, that's good. You know, it's a good thing that it happens to a boxer who underestimates another boxer. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying this. I'm not sure. But it seemed to me like he was underestimating Orlando Salido and it cost him. Uh, you know, and another thing, Juan Man, when you throw punches, when you throw those right hooks, you need to put that left hand up. You need to put it up. You know, right, you know, you have Juan Man fighting, right? And then he throws like a right hook and his hand, his left hand is all the way down to his waist. And in that last fight, Marquez was catching him with some real good right hooks. And I thought he was gonna try to fix that and he did not fix it. You know, every time he threw a right hook, Juan Ma will keep that left hand way down and here comes Orlando with those huge right hooks and that's what really, really changed the fight was the big right hooks from Orlando, uh, Orlando Salido. So, you know, I think Juan Ma, we have a case of Juan Ma and uh, Paul Williams. These guys are extremely talented. You know, they have all the tools in the world. They're young, they're strong, they can hit hard, they're athletic, but they need new trainers. They need trainers that can show them how to use their defense. If they were more defensive, if they knew how to put their hands up when it was supposed to be up, the knockouts would not have come. You know, I think Juan Ma 
I think Juanma physically is better than Salado. I, I, I think Juanma is a better fighter than Salado. The thing is, Salado sticks to the basics. Defense, you know, hard work, training, uh, great stamina. And Juanma, I, know, I don't think, if, I don't know if Juanma was thinking, I'm going to just go in there and knock this guy out three rounds. Because that's what it seemed to me. Because it seemed to me like it was a combination of being knocked, being dazed, and being tired. And there's no excuse. If you're 26 years old, you're a champion, you have a world title, and you're tired in the eighth, ninth round. Uh, you know, obviously he got hit very hard many times. So, and it was a great fight. You know, Juan Man should have been knocked out like by the sixth or seventh round, I believe, and he kept coming. So, but still he lost. And uh, I, I'm still like in shock. I'm thinking, wow. But he needs to better that defense. If he doesn't better that defense, it's just he's going to keep losing the same way. And probably even Marquez would have knocked him out in the second fight because Marquez would have came into the second fight already knowing what to do. Kind of like what happened with uh, Paul Williams and Sergio Martinez. Uh, I think you as a boxer, if, if you're committing certain mistakes when you, review, when you review your fight back at home or whatever, you should think, all right, man, I'm doing this wrong now. My trainer ain't helping me with this, so I need a new trainer. That's it. I need a new trainer. And, and, and I think that's what Juanma needs. I think that's what Paul William needs. They need new trainers. And Marcos Madonna, you need a new trainer. You need a new trainer because you're, you're being red like an open book. And it's going to cost you. Sooner or later, it's going to cost you. So, uh, and uh, Seda, uh, Seda Jr. from Puerto Rico went to Argentina to fight this guy, I don't remember his name, he's an Argentinian legend over there, fighting at the weight class of 115, 116. Seda Jr. won that fight, but was robbed, was robbed. I saw Seda Jr. win the fight, and they robbed it for the Argentinian. So, that's what's up. So, uh, crazy night of boxing, but uh, what can I say? So, we wait for the next one. Much props to the winners, yeah, let's see what's up.